Hello everyone, it's Rad from Radko Tarot and in this whole video uh, we are going to have a look at the experiences in terms of career and relationship that your star sign is going to have throughout the upcoming week, uh, August 10th to uh, August 16th, 2020. <clears throat> and you are into Tarot, probably you do know that Tarot is divided by a major and minor arcana and arcana means knowledge, so anybody can learn um, to, to read Tarot. And uh, if you like the way I read and you want to learn it from me, uh, you can purchase the 12 hours tarot class uh, that uh, I'm offering. And in this class, uh, you are going to be introduced to a four card, very special to me spread because I do use it uh, in almost all of my professional uh, readings because it's amazing. <clears throat> and it's also a uh, major arcana friendly, meaning that you can use just only the uh, the major arcanas with it. Uh, so that spread, uh, that what comes with it, it is the explanation of all the major arcana in terms of all of the positions of the spread and in terms of career and relationship. So pretty much you do have it uh, all covered there. And on top of that, at the end of the class, uh, you are gonna get as well a one hour one-on-one -on -one class with me just so I can make sure that uh, you uh, digested all of the information and you are set to do your own personal and hopefully private readings. The links to the, the <clears throat> I'm sorry, the link to the class is uh, listed down below as well as a link to my website in case you do want to uh, purchase a, a personal uh, reading with me. So that being said, lay back and uh, enjoy the show. Right, so let's uh, let's have a look what uh, Pisces, Sun, Moon, and as well Rising uh, are to experience throughout the upcoming week in terms of a uh, love and career. So the first thing that we're going to have a look at is going to be your love and relationship life, guys. And uh, let me shuffle the cards and let's see what you got. Right, so the first one, ooh, we do have the Ace of Wands. Now the Ace of Wands is the spark of inspiration. So whatever it is to take place after that, there is no doubt that a, the very least quite of a gaining for enterprise is waiting for you in terms of a love and relationship and under gaining for enterprise, that could be literally anything. It could be an awesome surprise from your current husband or a wife. It could be the appearance of a new uh, suitor, etc., etc. Something that you're going to be very excited about because it's going to give you the opportunity to pretty much release your passion and inspiration about it. Moving next, we do have the Five of Swords, uh, followed by the Lover's card, and the last one we do have here that is to be the Queen of Cups. Now, that's quite interesting. <sighs> All right, so we do have a lot of explanations to uh, to make here. Uh, probably you got yourself excited seeing the lover's card, especially into the third position. If you are following those videos enough, you would know that the third position is rather positive position in the spread itself. And while the lovers really could secure you in an awesome relationship, I hate seeing that card, especially for newly formed relationships. Because the lovers is all about making the uh, the differences Bond, bonding you to be special for one another. The lovers does not clear out problems. The lovers makes you accept the problems or it urges you in this case to accept the problems. It is like the yin and yang, all right? That circle you do have with the black kind of like droplets and the white droplet. Now, if you are, uh, if you observe carefully, those are two perfectly matching opposites, meaning that what the white one is, the black one isn't. And the same thing happens with you throughout this particular week. And can you bind together? It's, uh, the, uh, it's the question itself. Now, if you make it happen, then you and your suitor, your wife, your husband, your beloved one, you become one whole. Congratulations. If you can't, however, if you try to subjugate in a sense of that, uh, make them live according to your life, and you live according to their life as well, trying to make that symbiosis happen, uh, it's not going to be possible. Not at least 
while the energy of the lovers is around. So you have to find the harmony in the differences rather than to try to work over the differences around. And that will be the uh, probably the exciting enterprise that you're going to have around. Um, uh, probably this is going to be your uh, wake up call in case you are moving into uh, moving into a relationship or rather like you do have a relationship and you're moving in the week with that relationship, realizing that, you know, we don't have to fight about that stupid thing. You know, we don't have to raise arguments about this and this. We can simply, you know, live with that thing lingering around itself and, and having a good time with it. Okay. And just let your partner be so your partner can let you be and simultaneously you can be together. That is the magic that the lovers offers. And not everybody is capable to do it. Okay. That, that's why I hate seeing the card. Uh, it's uh, the start of a uh, newly formed relationships. Because uh, what happens there is that the two people are finding themselves very different from one another, okay? And yet they are attracted to one another and that attraction doesn't make sense. And as they cannot put a sense behind it, they are either afraid of it or they don't know what to do. And that itself, uh, it's very, very detrimental to a new form relationship, relationships. So while this week is going to offer you a new gaining for enterprise, you got to take that gaining for enterprise for what the enterprise is and nothing more, nothing less. And pretty much allow it to happen. That's all that there is to it. And what that is, that thing is going to lead you to here. We do have the queen, um, the queen of cups. And in this particular case, at the end, the Queen of Cups points that your the, the feelings of your heart, whatever those feelings are, are to be nurtured and cherished and fed as well. Okay. So if you are capable to give love under those circumstances, the differences that makes you special for one another, you are to receive such in return. Okay. So having the five of swords into the uh, into the second position, though. Um, that is a bit kind of like peripheral to the main narrative of the reading and it does point that you may do have a hidden enemy that doesn't want to see you happy uh, in terms of either your current relationship or forging a relationship you know it could be a jealous person that you have denied recently or it could be someone that so-called friend of yours usually this is how it manifests so-called friend of yours who is very je jealous um, from beneath the surface and it's kind of like you know it secretly doesn't want to see you uh manifesting your love with uh, with somebody else and uh, they may resort even to a, a public humiliation in order to prevent you to do so so be very careful whom you are placing uh, your trust at but nonetheless love and relationship wise uh, it's a uh, it's an awesome week ahead only if you can take the situation for what the situation is and don't try to change it. Uh, so that being said, Pisces, this was your love title reading. Now let's move to the next one, which is going to be your uh, career. So the first one in terms of career, we do have the uh, Emperor followed by the Fool card. Moving next, we do have the Justice and the last one for you, that is to be the Page of uh, the Page of Cups. Uh, by those cards, I could say that uh, if you are so, it reads differently if you are in a career, if you are in a job, or if you are unemployed. So let's start with the job thing. Um, you can expect this week to be overloaded by work. Uh, it's pretty much you know the tasks won't stop coming, and the tasks are likely to be brought from the very highest level of the hierarchy to, into the company that you're working at. That is because right now the whole or the personnel of the company, it's uh, pretty much tested how capable they are 
and you will be required to very meticulously manage your time and how well you tackle with responsibilities or how well you do shuffle responsibilities around in the sense of that giving being capable to give an immediate attention to the most urgent situation regardless if you do want it or not and pretty much structuring you know the responsibilities and the tasks in such a way that you at the end of the day will be able to attend to all of them around um, so the week itself, uh, luckily for you, you do have what it takes, you do have the discipline, you do have the necessary uh, reliability that you can exert into those um, uh, into those situations and the necessary structure as well as the emperor here shows at the uh, at the start of the reading. Now, a good thing as well it is that you are going to have a uh, astute discernment of which should be undertaken first, which should be undertaken second, uh, and what you have to do in, uh, uh, in general. Now, the problem, however, it is as we do have the full card into the second position, uh, those tasks could be repetitive and pretty much a bit annoying for you. So you may find yourself quite bored and uh, kind of like with a lack of self-esteem or rather like a drive to move forward and complete the tasks at hand. But should you not give yourself to this demoralizing, um, demoralizing, how can I say, how can I say, state, and you do keep your resolve high, okay, uh, what happens at the end, it is that you are to be promised something. So the page, it is not the manifestation of this, uh, of this test, but it is rather the promise that if you do keep the good work like that, a great times are awaiting you, okay? Because the structures are going to start shifting or rather like the positions into the company that you're working at are gonna start shifting and there will be a positioning, uh, there will be openings or rather like positions are gonna open that if you do deserve them, because the justice here into the third position shows that if you do deserve them, you are gonna get them and no one can take away that from you. Those that are a jobless, probably they are to be called from somebody that they haven't heard throughout the week itself, you know, probably uh, say that way that you have applied for a certain job a couple of weeks ago and you never heard from them for an interview, probably they're going to call you this uh, this week and going to ask you to go there. Uh, but you need to know that their criterias are going to be pretty high, okay? And it's not like you don't have what it takes to uh, to take on the job or to impress them, but just make sure that you that you know what you're signing up for because with the emperor pretty heavy energy there right and uh, it, it's highly unlikely that you will be able to walk away easily from it in case you do not like it but once again you're going to have the knack of understanding what you are involving yourself into and nonetheless what you do throughout the week at the end of finalization here it is that the big change is going to loom for you on the horizon when that change is going to happen well, let's estimate that. That change should actually happen by the middle of April next year. But that's, uh, that's not the point. The point is that you're gonna know what change is gonna loom on the horizon and you are gonna know what you need to do in order to prepare yourself for that change. And this preparation starts from the end of the week moving forward for you. Uh, that is in term of a uh, career. So that being said, Pisces, this was your weekly general tarot readings, guys, in term of a uh, career and love. Um, hopefully you do, you do enjoy them and you do like them. And with that being said, we are to see each other next time. Until then, bye.